Hey guys, on this episode, we make an air powered oil pump. All right, folks, uh, this is what we're going to need to get this uh, put together here. Uh, one key thing is uh, this is four inch uh, PVC. Uh, what I wanted to accomplish is uh, you know, given that there might be different oils in here, you know, you could reach in there and, and wipe out the old oil or any debris that you had in there before. So you, you do what you want. I thought four inch was uh, was probably the right size. Uh, but, you know, we have a, a clean out uh, four inch uh, PVC fitting here that's going to screw on. And I'm going to screw this into the side here so we have a, uh, a fitting for the air compressor to plug right into which I have here, which will have a valve on it and everything. Uh, just a small piece. I cut this one at 10 and a half inches. Um, then we have just your standard cap. And what I'll do, I'll epoxy this fitting right at the bottom. And one thing, one thing that's nice about the cap is all the oil is going to go right to the center. So it should drain out pretty well. Uh, so we'll put that there. I'm going to use 3 8 uh, uh, line to fill whatever it is, a transfer case, transmission, uh, or uh, axles. Uh, then we have some epoxy to, to epoxy the fittings into uh, the cap and whatnot. Then just your standard uh, rubber cement and uh, primer for uh, the, the PVC. So it's pretty simple. I didn't quite figure out how I'm going to uh, make brackets to hold it up. Um, I do have some uh, some bar that we could use, but I'll go over that uh, once it's put together and see what makes sense. Uh, most of the stuff I just had laying around anyway, so uh, so we'll just continue that and see what we could do to make brackets. All right. <music> All right, well, I got the, the prototype done. Uh, pretty much exactly what I, I thought it would be, but got everything uh, glued together. Uh, the cap is on. I did put a little bit of grease on the threads just, you know, to help it slide on and off a little better. Uh, it's definitely going to hold quite a bit. Um, and I made some brackets just by bending some, uh, some steel that I had laying around. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, we'll give it a shot and uh, I have the regulator about uh, just over 10 PSI and we'll see how much fluid that, that pushes through. Um, and we'll use, uh, I just have some leftover fork oil that we'll throw in for now. 
And like I mentioned before, uh, I do have a valve on my compressor here at, at the end of, a, of the line. We'll plug it in, and I got a little uh, little catch can here to see. Uh, let me see if we get a better shot for you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this on the floor so we have a more realistic scenario of uh, what it would be like to you know, put something in a transmission or, or a transfer case underneath the vehicle. Let's go down a little bit here. Okay, so we'll put uh, 10 PSI and uh, see how it plays out here. There you go. Comes out real nice. Yeah, it's exactly what, what we anticipated. Um, you know, if this was a if this was a heavy gear oil, it'd be a lot slower. But that took like two seconds to to fill this up, which is uh, let me see, which is two cups. So yeah, there there you have it, folks. Uh, this is pretty simple. It's a lot easier than uh, than the old fashioned pumping uh, out of a quart or a gallon jug that seems to take forever. All right.